MegaJerd here guys, and today, I'm gonna be talking about the Jungle Inferno update. What exactly will I be talking about? Well, besides the constant situations like this, I'm gonna be talking about the Gas Passer. Since a lot of the newborn pyros of Friday afternoon seem to be grinding for weapons, not very many of them know how to use them. If you don't know what the Gas Passer is, it's one of the four new weapons for the pyro. Essentially, it's just a can of gas that you can throw, which then creates a cloud of gas. And the enemy players can walk through it and then become ignited for 10 seconds when hurt by anything. But don't get too excited because it takes about a minute to fill and can be restored by the reason. So how do we use it? Well, at first I thought the gas passer was a reason to become a flank pirate and sneak around the enemies and get my flame on. But after about 30 minutes of doing that I decided maybe that wasn't the best way to use it. Although, once these Pyro and Heavy teams start to die off after about a couple months of the update, I can see it being used with the Vulgisinator as a filling Pyro. Or in other words, my gosh. But the times that I did manage to pull it off, it did quite some meaty damage, boy. But as of now, if you encounter a Heavy or a Pyro squad of the Flog, you're pretty much dead. So how do we use this weapon efficiently? Well, as much as I want to say throw it and jump in, I have to say throw and stay back. I found this weapon to work better with a team than I have with solo use. Remember, anything can ignite the player that steps in the gas cloud. Even a medic. So you don't have to rush right in and die as soon as it's thrown. You'll be most useful to your team if you can stay alive. With that said, I recommend the Dragon's Fury when using the Gas Passer, because it gives you a little bit more range, and remember, that thing is strong when it hits burning players. If you use any other flamethrower, you're going to be at a limited range. Please note, it's the age of the Heavy and the Pyro, so you are probably not going to get very close. One of the strong points that this weapon combo exceeds at is when there are more than three enemies on the point and you throw the gas can on the point and bust out your Dragon's Fury. That's powerful. The Gas Passer can also be used for area denial for a few seconds, which can actually allow your team to move forward because who's going to walk through a cloud of gas? Not a guy that's going to live if your team's chugging along, that's for sure. Most importantly, do not rely on the Gas Passer 24-7 because remember, even if you die while well, it's still charging, it's not going to lose its progression. And that's all I really have to say about the Gas Passer. Let me know if you guys can think of any strategies to use for this weapon. And if you want me to do another weapon strategy for one of the new pyro weapons, let me know which one. Thanks for watching.